Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Thursday, the 21st of May. It's been several days since the governor gave the state a yellow light to reopen more businesses. But official dates for some industries are still up in the air, and the feds are warning states against moving too slow. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. The feds are warning states that treatment of some businesses as non-essential can run afoul of the Constitution. Unemployed workers and small businesses statewide got their hopes up this week when the governor unveiled a long-awaited phased reopening plan. It said, we are here, as in the yellow zone, act with care. The plan also showed just about every business and organizational sector getting a green light in the yellow zone. But exactly when? That's up to the mayors, and it varies. Haircuts okay on Maui on Monday. Tourism activities okay on Kauai on Friday. Church service this weekend on Oahu. But there are a bunch of state-permitted industries in limbo. KHON2 asked the governor how they can get approval to open. Certainly, we're working with all the counties uh, and uh, the various um, professional groups and organizations uh, to identify uh, any uh, activity or any uh, businesses that are not contained uh, in the general proclamations. And then we'll be working with uh, the mayors to uh, ensure an orderly reopening for all businesses. Businesses that still don't know what to pencil in on the calendar to get people back to work. They fall in that medium risk category, it would be best just to give a carte blanche opening date for medium risk. And that would be the simplest thing to do. And then let people be responsible, socially distance when necessary and don masks and so on when, when they're up close. As long as it uh, comports with the safety you know, protocols, it should just be a go. The delay is catching the attention of the feds. Last month, Attorney General William Barr asked districts nationwide to monitor state and local policies for infringement of constitutional protections. U.S. Attorney for the District of Hawaii, Kenji Price, told Always Investigating they're on the lookout. Restrictions must last only as long as they are absolutely necessary. Importantly, decisions regarding what businesses are non-essential should not be arbitrary. He says they may take action when they raise concerns under the U.S. Constitution or federal law. So what are the business rights at stake? Hawaii attorney Robert Thomas explains. Remember your obligation to, to impact as little as people as possible in the least way possible while still accomplishing public goal, which is to keep us healthy and avoid uh, public health risks. He says avoiding those risks has to balance individual and corporate rights better going forward. Now we can see at the start of this thing, maybe the, the right solution was a complete off switch. It more and more as this thing goes on longer and longer, that does not seem to be the right way to approach it. The longer it takes to lift shutdowns, the more damages taxpayers could end up paying for. I would say the, the most obvious case for compensation is a business that went out of business while it was shut down. We'll continue to follow up on county by county opening dates and implications for sectors not yet given a pathway to opening. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.